Hi everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to day 12 and the final day of the 12 days of summer scrap lifts from Scrap Squad. We have done it, we have made it through all 12 days, we've kept up and had the video out each day and I am so proud of myself and super excited about that. I would like to say thank you to Scrap Squad, Rebecca Meadows, Keely Brennan, thank you for all of your hard work in pulling this event together. Thank you for all of the people that created our inspiration layouts. You are all amazing. And thank you to everybody that has commented on all of my layouts and spread some scrappy love. And thank you to everybody else who played along because that in itself was so, so inspirational. So thank you everybody. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I can't wait until the next 12 days event from Scrap Squad. For today, our final lift is this one. And this is exciting because this is another design that I would never think of. So we have these three columns and blocks of photos and paper. And it's really funky. Each one has been outlined. I don't know whether that's just a doodle border or stitching. And then the whole area has been stitched around as well. I won't be doing stitching. We have a large cluster here and here. Title up here. And yeah, I'm going to go for it and I'm going to attempt to stick reasonably close to that. So, <coughs> excuse me, getting a bit excited. I have decided to rewind and dive in for Stash Dive Tuesday to my Vicky Booten Colour Study Collection. I'm again bending the rules and I'm using a collection rather than just two pieces from that collection. But I'm really, really on a focus to Stash Dive and just use up what I have and I'm doing really well and love 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 rediscovering my stash which happens to be a Facebook group from Sarah Scraps of course rediscover your stash so I have chosen this paper which is the infamous color wheel I still have about five of these because I have this now I don't know if you can see it really let's let's take that off this that is all colour study guys that is how awesome this collection was i had to have it all and then my lovely friend kathy aka scrappy kathy sent me loads and i have loads of it left so i won't be cutting this paper because i need to use some up so these two papers are uber uber colourful but i'm going to use the black side which just so happens to be the hey little magpie challenge of the month who also have a cyber crop coming up on the next weekend actually starts saturday saturday it is cyber crop day at hey little magpie and this month's challenge which was set by julie taylor who as you know from lifting her twice this week i love her scrappy style and her challenge was to use a black background so that is what i'm doing now this black is distressed and it's got all this color but it is nonetheless a black background and it is the b-side of this and I'm matting it, I'm matting it on this. You're not going to see any of the colour wheel, but I love the detail and distressness. Distressness, there's a new word for you. New word <coughs> with Adam time. So I am going to stick this on. I'm so happy that I got to the end of the 12 days of summer scrap lifts. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it really got my mojo back okay so there is that so it just tones the black down it gives us something else and it also pulls out some of the colors from that and I am scrapbooking photos from the dotty about flare crop so we've got this one with Kelly Maskery, Kathy, me, Steph, uh, Steph Wright and Helen Parker now I apologize if I have chopped anybody off which I have because these are six by four photos and I've just cut them to size, then I have the remnants to do on other layouts. We have Natalie Nelson, Lisa Sikoski, and Jackie Gearing, and half of Steph Wright. I do apologise, Steph. And we have me, Jackie, my lovely friend Jackie, and Kelly. It was quite surreal. I had a photo, somebody asked for a photo with me, so I said yes. Um, we were stood against this wall and I was there for about half an hour then because everybody was like, I want a photo, I want a photo, let's have a group photo, I want a photo. And for somebody that doesn't like their photo taken, I think I did very, very well. <laughs> 
this paper is for info inspired that is what it's called and as i say it's the b side of the color bubble paper <coughs> i do apologize again so this is that i have already cut these because i needed to have a play basically and make sure that i can make it work and i'm generally sticking with the layout of the original so we are going to start down here and these are all papers from color study i don't have the names of them i am sorry but they are all from color study so we're going to start with that then we're going to have a photo these photos are two inches wide and varying length so this one is two by 2.75 so we're just going to go down like so. This gorgeous photo of three amazing ladies who are very, very firmly amazing friends. They all, yeah, they're all amazing. Everybody who attended the crop, I, yeah. Let's not go there because Adam will get emotion. Emotional. Okay, so as you can see, I've roughly stuck to it. Paper, photo, paper. I've probably changed my dimensions. This one's bigger than this one, but that is a-okay. Then at the bottom here, we're gonna have this photo of my lovely Jackie, Kelly, and myself. And I know Kelly watches my videos, so you are now in my scrapbook, Kelly. And hopefully you will be back in it soon for another crop it was Kelly's first time leaving her lovely children at home and she drove like three four hours to come to the crop which is just amazing this hasn't been cut correctly sack the cutter oh and it doesn't fit in the mini trimmer obviously okay I'm just going to trim this for a moment guys I will be right back so that is that cut, I just wanted to double check it and try not to faff too much on camera. Okay. There is that one, I love this paper. And this is another favourite, I can't say there's a favourite in this collection because they're all favourites. So I'm sticking the photos down first just because as with this, if I need to trim everything, anything, I'd rather trim it from the paper rather than the photo. I love this photo. Steph and Helen and Kathy laughing, like properly laughing. And so was I. Look, that is just happiness in a photo, that. Oh, Kelly, you're in the scrapbook twice, my lovely. Oh, and now this one isn't cut enough. I will be right back again. So that is that cut properly this time. I didn't measure anything when I cut them, so it was more a case of making the photos fit because I'd already cut the paper. So that is our finished configuration. And if we take a quick look at the original, I don't think we've done too bad. I know you can't see it there. But anyway, so that is our photos done. And now it's a case of just going for it with the embellishments. I'd like to use some florals and I'd also like to use this pen pot. I think that just screams crafty to me. So let's have a little look through here. I also have some epoxy flare here that I've made for personal use using color study paper. So I'm just going to have a browse through our embellishments. So excited that would work as a title. So we could put that there or we could layer that down here and just go rogue. I like going rogue. Okay. Life is good. Life is good. Real life right now. So it's just a case really of finding what parts and pieces we want to use. Okay. 
on the, our inspiration there is a tag up here I'm going to put florals up here and focus on a cluster down here <coughs> there is a couple of packs of ephemera pushed into one here um, just as I've used stuff I have combined them trying to think of the word there got there in the end ok so I'm going to put that quite like that ok I love this as well struggling to use it but I love it we've got loving this life of mine vellum but ok capture it all a little tear piece I actually quite like it torn and we could put that there or we could put it here I'm going to leave it there for now so this is half of this I've used this on another layout and I've cut it to try and extend it this is the floral that I thought so I'm going to go ahead and cut that because then I can use this on another layout and then we can tuck tuck tucky so I'm going to leave that there for a minute obviously you can see there but that's ok I shall just put something else there okay. sunglasses which I love but it doesn't really have any relevance to the day we have some arrows got a ready one here ready as in red colour not ready as in I'm ready ok so that could mm, don't like that got a pie chart pie chart you know what I mean guys I think we've got two of them oh no new day do all the things little bulldog clip that's quite funky here's the whole story that might work could sort of tuck that under there now I could just go off camera and look through the ephemera but I kind of like to show you my thought process um, I don't want to go ahead and start cutting everything out because I guess if you're not interested you can fast forward for which I would never ever be offended by the way okay <coughs> excuse me so this was from this around here that works can't really can we cover our feet let's cover our feet take more pictures I love that oh no that covers my face even I wouldn't do that then we've got another floral that I was going to pop into this layout. Maybe that could go down there. Okay, that's probably it from the ephemera packs. So I'm just going to bash them together. And I have a CD wallet for all of the ephemera. Now that is, as I say, two packs. And it's also the journaling ephemera as well as the icon ephemera so now I'm just going to see which of these I would like to use I love these this is from the circle paper and if it's something that you would like to do then stick around for the June, August dotty about flare release where we have some exciting things coming and you might be able to do it yourself Okay, so that's there. I've been given a lot of clues on my face oh, Facebook, YouTube. Probably shouldn't do that. So I think it's time we got some stuff stuck down, isn't it? So I don't know about this yet. Do I? No, I do. I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna stick it up on some foam dots, I think. So if that's going there, so I don't want to put a foam dot too close to there. I'll probably do it. 
Okay, I'm just going to get these embellishments stuck down and I'll be right back for us to continue our dive. Okay guys, so I have stuck all them down, which is just what we had talked about. However, I've added this, which is, says we are like a really small gang. Thought that really went with it, brings a bit of pink in from the various elements. I've added three epoxy there, one here, one here, one here. And I've moved this from there to there. That's as far as I've got. I didn't forget to press record. Promise. So, we're just going to have a look through what we've got, basically. I have got one, two, three, four, four sticker sheets. Don't know why. Love it. Using it. It's fine. So, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got this little one that says love it, so that works perfectly for down here. We have got, okay, so I'm just going through each one, obviously I have different things left on different ones, document all the things, I'm going to pop that there, okay. I'm going to put a couple of these up here, I think. You know what? Oh. Okay, I'm not putting that one up there. Let's pop that one there and that one. Just, be, just to give a bit of something to the corner. Felt like it might have been missing something. And we've got a flower here that we could bring in. I don't know if we need it really then. Okay, let's bring that in up there. So that's the sticker sheets done, I think. We've got this pencil, which would be kind of cool. It says, I'm making the world more colourful. We could actually stick that. And uh, let's pop that there. Any day spent with you is my favourite. So this is where that chipboard was from. I'm going to use this one that says, oh boy. That's how it was. Like, oh boy, more photos. I didn't say it like that. Um, Okay, we do have puffies. I'm not going to have a title, this is the title. This is going to be the crop album anyway, so I don't really need a title on its own because there's going to be a lot of layouts because there's a lot of photos. So I'm just going to use, these are from Color Kaleidoscope, I believe, and I'm just using some of the hearts and pieces. <coughs> And then I think this is going to be done, if I'm honest. Tone on tone black arrow. Got a little cross there. Let's pop them there. Well, plus signs rather. And these, I think we've got colour study here. More colour kaleidoscope and fernwood or storyteller. I've basically got all the ones that Vicky's done and multiples of because I love them so much. Do, 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 do. Okay. I think that's going to do it to be honest. Now I was, I've got a white pen here and the plan was to do the line around it but I don't think it needs it if I'm honest so I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> We're going to have a quick check of this sticker book and then we'll call it done. Kind of think that we could do something here, but not sure what. <coughs> Excuse me. So we could have a camera there, or we could have. Mm, no, that's not really going to work. 
So what about if I repeat this element with the paintbrush and we have a paintbrush and a camera there? Why not? We were all scrappy, crafty, chatty and snappy. Okay. Um, I love that title piece. Are these, oh, these are washing. It's the only thing I'm not a fan of in the sticker books, but it changed for Sweet Rush, so that's okay. And it wouldn't stop me buying the sticker book, if I'm honest. No. I just don't, I don't know. Don't like it. Don't like it. <coughs> okay I think that's going to do it I think I'm ready to say done you know what I'm like though there'll always be one more addition once I've said done including these maybe these are like just some strips there I quite like that little arrow I love these paint splatters mm. I do love them but not for this photo that is going to do it I think none of these snapshot I do love phrases word phrases I think they just finish a layout off Laugh lots. Looks nothing like the original in embellishment, but that's okay because I actually really love the design and I think I'll do it again. I'm really, really happy with how this has ended. There is our finished layout, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you have enjoyed the 12 days and me being back on YouTube. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I've thoroughly enjoyed spending time with you all and videos will be continuing here at Scrappy Adam. They're not going to be every day but they are going to be more regular than they have been and I will be doing a sort of recap of my 12 days of summer scrap lifts from Scrap Squad layouts. I'll do a quick video flip through and post them on the socials. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being so kind and welcoming back to YouTube. I will see you again very soon for another video at Scrappy Adam. Bye for now.